So I wanted to let you know how I'm dealing with um, keeping the greenhouse warm enough this winter. It's a really mild year. Um, I haven't really gone below, I think, minus 5 centigrade. And um, so I actually haven't been using my furnace. And my furnace is just an old oil furnace with the, um, the burner taken out of it and a radiator put on top. So the hydronic system just heats that radiator and the air blows by it. Um, so I haven't used that this year because the relay's broken, haven't figured out. Well, I just haven't been motivated to get it done. But um, here's the energy curtain up here. This pulls across. And um, if you had a greenhouse that uh, you wanted to um, automate, you can certainly buy this stuff and have a system put in so that it's automated for um, pulling it across and then bringing it back. It's a reflective curtain, so even when it's pulled across, it um, does let light through and it, it um, has a reflective coating underneath, so it um, reflects the light back in. So it's not completely um, like a blackout or anything like that. It's actually really great. So I will pull that out over and just leave it if the temperature night temps are below about um, minus two centigrade and I'll just leave it through sun, cloud, whatever. Um, that is providing a 40% reduction in heat loss. Okay, because of course that's double poly that's inflated. Um, it doesn't give a very high R factor. Um, so this stuff really boosts it and um, I think that's just probably an essential for this kind of system. That would be my first choice. Um, here you can see these, uh, there's my horizontal airflow fan and there's another one on the other side and it's just circulating the air slowly through the greenhouse and keeping the plants so that the moisture isn't um, staying on the leaves, keeping, keeping them working a little bit, transpiring. So this is how I'm essentially heating this year is by heating this pool and you can see these copper tubes here and that is uh, bringing warm water it's uh, taking it a long ways. It's I have insulated pipe in the ground, insulated pecs, and um, it's bringing heat from the hydronic system and dumping it in the pool. This pool is six feet deep, and um, so it's ten thousand over ten thousand gallons of water. And there's just a bubble, typical swimming pool bubble on top, with a black white plastic on top of that. And so if I heat this to 24 degrees centigrade before a really cold spell, then um, I will lose about one degree a night out of this whole area. That horizontal fan is picking up the heat and just stabilizing the temperature. So because this pool is four feet into the ground, it is actually being stabilized a bit by the um, ambient temperature. So the other thing I'm doing is this is my south wall and I got some free um, insulation from a, a company that makes um, docks and I have that running, uh, it's like maybe two and a half feet and I just stick that in in the winter time. Um, it also helps to cut the light when it is sunny to the plants. Uh, sometimes you can get quite a bit of a heat rise with a direct southern exposure and it can be hard on the plants if you're if you're quite cold at night and then you get this intense light so that kind of helps with that then i i have actually thrown up a curtain of remay for when it was minus five because i was uh, cautious about um not having my furnace working so this remay provides another wall so you can see i just clip it onto uh, the energy curtain and it's just hanging there and tuck it behind the the insulation. On the north wall I have this same styrofoam um, but I've actually stuck it inside the plastic, the double poly, the inflated double poly. I just put it in there. It keeps it tidy and uh, it's there all the time because of course the north I'm not getting any light through there and it's up against the um, the uh, hyperdobe wall like this over here so it actually is helping to keep the hyperdobe wall from um, getting it being as influenced by the north 
temperature. So this, uh, the north cold outside temperature. So this is actually my hyper adobe wall on the south side. And so that's part of my um, heat sink. And uh, what else was I going to show you? Yeah, so I will just drape this remay all over the place on north or the east wall, the west wall. As you can see, it's sort of sloppy right now because we're in a bit of a warm time. Um, and then, as you may or may not know from other YouTubes, I'm heating this with a wood gasifier furnace. That's a super high efficiency furnace. And um, I would say this year with all the thermal mass and everything, I've probably gone through one quart of wood. This thing does a phenomenal job, so haven't run it for a while. Hope that's helpful.